World leaders have been working around the clock to salvage a ceasefire agreement between Ukraine and Russian-backed separatists that was hatched in Minsk, the capital of Belarus, on February 12th. Russia's been supporting ethnic Russian separatists in Ukraine who are seeking independence from that country's Western-oriented government, equipping them with weapons and fighters. The U.S. has said if the current Minsk ceasefire agreement fails, it will consider granting Ukraine's long-standing request for lethal military aid. Analysts see the Ukrainian situation driving Russia and the West to a dangerous crossroads. More on that in a moment, but first, what is the current Ukrainian situation? The latest is that after days of heavy fighting, Ukrainian troops have withdrawn from a town in eastern Ukraine called Dabaltsev after they found themselves surrounded by pro-Russian fighters. The town is considered a strategic rail hub. Now the issue is whether a ceasefire will take hold and will the battle lines end here? It's very much an open question. Look how much smaller the separatist-controlled area was six months ago. Back in August, Ukrainian forces had repelled the pro-Russian militants, pushing them back from several larger towns and cities. But in September, the separatists reversed the Ukrainian tide. They pushed south, seizing control of a wide swath of territory along Russia's border. NATO accuses Russia of aiding this offensive by providing the rebels with troops and heavy weapons. Both sides agree to a ceasefire, but it doesn't hold. The pro-Russian militants pick up momentum, pushing the line of demarcation between the warring sides further west. In mid-February, Germany, France, Russia, and Ukraine reach another ceasefire, the Minsk Agreement. But three days after it was to come into effect, the separatists take control of Dabaltsov, a key transportation hub, as Ukrainian troops withdraw. How could the ceasefire be saved? Both sides would have to pull back their heavy weapons, and Ukraine would have to grant separatist control regions greater autonomy. And then the two sides would exchange POWs. But both sides accuse the other of continuing to sabotage the ceasefire. Ukraine's president is asking for peacekeepers to police the front line and the border between Russia and Ukraine. Russia and the rebels denounce that as an attempt by Ukraine to destroy the Minsk agreement. Meanwhile, U.S. officials say large quantities of Russian weaponry and troops are continuing to move into Ukraine, an accusation Moscow has repeatedly denied. EU leaders have threatened to step up sanctions on Russia if the ceasefire breaks down. But several EU diplomats have also said there was no fresh push as of yet to step up pressure on Russia over the most recent fighting. International monitors say they see no evidence of pullback by either side. That's the short answer.